It is critical for businesses to understand the importance of social media in the modern business world. Internet marketing heavily relies on social media because this is where potential customers are spending tons of their time. It's important to know how to set up your marketing net to attract customers to buy from you before they buy from someone else. There are special software tools designed to aid businesses to do just that. eBay Items Facebook application is the unique software designed to help all eBay sellers to bring their listings to millions of Facebook users in a few simple clicks. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can start selling your eBay listings on your Facebook page in just a few minutes. This is especially useful for those who sell a lot and would like to build a store or simply draw new potential customers to your eBay store from Facebook. As you may know, Facebook has millions of users, most of which can become your customers if you give them this opportunity. So let's get started. Before you can add this app to your Facebook page, you need a Facebook page. Don't confuse a Facebook page with your personal profile. Once you have a Facebook account, you can create a free business page dedicated to your business. Once you have your business page set up, search for eBay items phrase in the search field at the top of a Facebook page. Click on this eBay items page. This is the profile page for this app. Open this menu and click on Add App to Page. Now select your business page from this list. Finally, click Add Page tab. Now when you open your business page, a new button will be installed. If you don't see it like I don't on my page, then click on this small arrow and there it is. You should move it to the visible location so people can see it. To do that, move your mouse over this button and click on this small square. This opens a menu where you can select another item in your menu to swap locations with our new button. I'm going to select Map because Map is not as important in my case. Explore your options and swap location with your least important items in the first row. Now that we have this button in visible location, we need to do one more step to finish setting our Facebook eBay store. Click on this new button. You'll be prompted to select your country where you are selling your items and enter your eBay user ID. It's the same username that you use to sign into the eBay website all the time. That's it. Just click Save Settings and your items will be loaded in a moment. If you don't see your items, then you are probably not selling anything at this time. If you have items for sale on eBay, but you still don't see them, contact us in the forum section and we will be more than happy to help you fix it. Check out how easy it is to search for a specific item in your store. We just type in the word iPhone and in two seconds iPhones are displayed. Buyers can select a specific category to narrow down search results. Once you have your items on Facebook, your page visitors can click on the new button to your store and buy from you right here on Facebook. They can also share your items with friends by clicking the like button or even post it on the wall of their profile by clicking share. Sorting option is also available. But that's not all. There are more cool features available when you click change settings. You can add more eBay user accounts to your store. As you can see, now there are two tabs for each user account. If you'd like to combine them into one, simply select this option in your settings page. Here's a nice feature to use when you want to require your visitors to click the like button in order to see your listings. This can help you grow your fan base. Once they click the like button, they will see all your wall posts in their news feed. This way, you can attract them back to your store from time to time by sharing your items to your wall using our built-in share button. Finally, you can add a custom text or HTML code to this store page with a welcome message or special promotions. Once you are done setting up your store, don't forget to click the Save Settings button and the changes will be effective immediately. Thank you for your time. I hope this video will help you to join the thousands of others already using this app and start selling your stuff on Facebook today. Good luck.